Good afternoon, everyone. We have been invited today to MG Ipswich because something very exciting is happening. Yesterday afternoon, they got delivered the MG Cyberster, which is their fully electric sports car. It is brand new and it is in the showroom right now. Bridge Classic Cars are very lucky because we got invited to come along today, bring some of our classic cars because there's a hundred years of MG this year. So it's really nice to have a different array of cars through the years of MG in the showroom today. So we're going to go and have a little look inside now. Please do come along if you have any questions about the um, Cyberster. I'm no expert. This is the first time I've seen it today. Um, so I've had a little look around it. It is absolutely gorgeous and we just wanted to share it with you. And hopefully, if you do have any questions and you do ask them, I will be able to find someone around the showroom who will be able to answer the question for you. But it was really nice because you got an email, didn't you, Rob? Or was it a telephone call from NG? Yeah, to I say think um, Anthony, the after-sales manager, called um, the office and uh, asked if we wanted to come down. And obviously, we wanted to come and see it. Here it is, the Cyberster. It is absolutely wonderful. Now, whilst Rob is just doing, taking me for a little walk around the car, Rob, why don't you tell them your first impressions of the Cyberster? Well, I, yeah, I really like uh, this car. This spot, it's, you get the preconceptions about it being an, an EV and everything else, but actually the feedback we've got today is that it doesn't look like your, your standard uh, EV. And I mean, Gullwing Doors is always a winner. So I'm lucky to be here with Russell. Russell, can you tell us your um, role here at MG? So I'm one of the directors here at MG. Um, I've been here for since January. And uh, yeah, just really excited to, 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 for you to come down and see the product. Uh, I think it's the only vehicle of its kind at the moment. Um, Two-seater road stuff, 300 mile range. Should, should fly out the door. Great price. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, how long has this um, event been in the waiting? Have you been waiting for the Cybersta to arrive oh. with bated breath? Yeah, we've been desperate to get it here and, uh, and, and see it in the flesh. Um, a lot of our customers have been and seen it at places like Silverstone and that sort of thing and, uh, and at various events. But for us to actually get it here and sit in it and, uh, and get a proper feel for it and have our customers come down and have a coffee and a cake with us and, uh, and have a look at it, it's really important. It is so gorgeous. I mean, my first impressions were just like, wow, I feel like it's a lot of supercars mixed into one with the kind of look of it. I, yep. was, like, I, I was like, it seems it looks slightly Tesla-y Tesla in shape, but then also it's quite wide, like a Porsche. Yeah. I mean, what are your um, favourite features of it, I guess? I mean, I, I like the way the front sits. I think it looks just like a Porsche. Yeah. Uh, you put a Porsche badge on it. Not that I'd want a Porsche badge on it. I'm happy with the MG badge on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it looks just like a, a, a Porsche, like the Boxster sort of style to it. Um, but I mean, uh, look at the doors. That's the doors a are very cool. Okay, so let's do let's do one of these ones. Let's open this side. Now, the gold doors are pretty impressive. Here they go. Oh, look at that. There we are. And it's extremely comfortable inside. Is that okay if I have a little sit in? Yeah, go and sit in. Have a little feel. So, it's really nice in here. It's so comfortable. Um, I don't actually know where the button is to put the door back down, though. Is it up there? Oh, no. If it is, <laughs> I'd struggle a bit. Oh, is it going to be right? Okay. No, I think I pressed the wrong button. Let's try again. Or it might not do it because my leg's in the way. There we go. There is a button inside as well to do it. Oh, is there? Yeah. There we go. See, learning about everything. <laughs> learning about everything. Good. So the button here is nice. This is a really cool dashboard. Come a little bit closer. So it's very surround inside the car. You kind of feel like you're immersed in it, but it's not too big. I think I've been in some... Um, cars that we've had a look at and the screen has been so massive it kind of takes away from um, other bits and bobs in the car but no it's really lovely it feels obviously very solid I'm loving this kind of 
the lever effect on the steering wheel um, and the interior is beautiful I love this grey over cream and I was speaking to one of the salesmen earlier and they actually said that you can get grey over cream or I think it's red and black as well it is really lovely in here very nice and I'm not sure it's this exact model but one of the salesmen also told me that um, one of the cars I'm guessing it might be a car that has a bit more power can get to 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds which is epic because there is a couple of different models of this car um, but yeah it comes in loads of different colours too I can't find the button to get out <laughs> can you see I was going how do I get out I think it's this one or this way there we go, we're learning everyone, we're learning. Yes, so it comes in a lot of different colour combinations, I believe. So put it back down again. There we are. Oh, that's so cool every time. I absolutely love that. So yeah, I think there's a couple of different shades of white. There's red, there's yellow, and I love this gorgeous grey. I think it is so stylish and very cool. We were um, lucky this morning because some of our members from Bridge Classic Cars came and had a little look. Um, they absolutely loved it. The only thing they did say they weren't 100% sure on is the gull doors. But I really like them. Don't you like them, Rob? Yeah, I, I was just saying when, whilst you were... Um having a look at the other cars I, I think any car with gullwing doors is uh, is a winner is a winner definitely and also as we are bridge classic cars we have brought our classics along today now there's a classic over here which is very close to rob's heart and it is his mg magnet 1955 mg magnet so Rob, I know we've spoken a little bit about your car on um, other lives before because you brought it along to the shows, but tell us a little bit more about it. So this is from um, the Classic Car Loan Project. So basically classic car owners try and help um, or encourage more people to be involved in classic car ownership and classic car events and things. So um, owners and car clubs loan out cars for a year. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, so the owner of the car, Peter, has kindly loaned this to me for a year. So I've had it since April. I think I've done close to 2,000 miles in it already. I really like it. Um, and yeah, so it looks very nice next to the cyber stuff. Very today. cool. So we go from 1955 over to 1968 which is the red MGC over here so I know they're different um, models of cars so they're going to be extremely different but you can kind of see okay it goes from there which is very round and a little bit more kind of sleeker with the kind of what's it called more flatter bonnet a bit like the MG um, Cyberster, I guess, sort of, <laughs> with this gorgeous 1968 MGC. Now, these MGs are, I do have to say, my favourite MGs, I think, even though that is an amazing, brand new, shiny, sparkly electric car. I'm still a classic girl at heart. I can't deny it. I cannot deny um, this one would still win for me every time. But then also we go to 2003 and we have got with us our MG um, ZT V8. Yes, which is also uh, quite a sought after car. It really is. It is popular um, with, I guess, some people who are into their modern classics. They're more retro classics. But yeah, then we go from this back round to the Cyberster. So yeah, we've had so much fun here so far this morning. Hopefully, a little bit later on, um, we're going to get a little bit more in-depth of a walk round of the car, which will be so good. So if you guys would like to see more of the Cyberster and have some more information about it, then do keep an eye out on our socials for our video of today, because there's going to be a little bit more in-depth about the car and what's going on around here. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. From me and Rob, we'll see you very soon.